and this ain't it. When we talk about the destructive culture and behavior that continues to lead our youth to death or incarceration. And I'm live here from California State Prison. Let our youth know this ain't it. Waking up in the cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past. This ain't it. What you doing in the street? Is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. That's sad, man. That, you know, if you, if you become an educated black man, and you no longer want to subscribe to the ideology that somebody got their foot on my neck, or the police is my worst problem, or... You know, and just any of the excuses that people hold on to. If you no longer want to subscribe to that type of thinking and you want to believe in an American dream and believe I can be whoever I want to be, oh, yeah, you're up a time. You can't think like that. They got their foot on our neck. You got to always keep thinking about that. So, man, it's just sad, uh, though, Dusty. These type of conversations, um, they, 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 they really tug at my heart and be making me um, worry about um, this mission I'm about to embark on when it comes to, you know, dealing with my people that I know, you know, we, we, we have something they say is called the democratic disease state. It's, you know, I can uh, kill myself and I don't want you to say nothing about it. Leave me alone. Mm. And that's what's going on in our communities. You know, we we just, we see it. You know, the kids are steady getting killed. You know, nobody's been talking about the overdoses going on throughout the United States, which is it's crazy that they just, you know, they focus on Donald Trump is trying to kill everybody. You got kids dying of fentanyl all over the country. You got the border, probably all types of terrorists coming in right now. You got black kids slaughtering each other inside the community. And you turn on the TV and see this nigga Charlemagne talk about Joe Biden. Like, man, this shit is it's sad. This shit is really sad, man. Mm. But hopefully, uh, you know, people are starting to wake up. Um, you know, they said um, it's looking like um, a lot of black voters are starting to, you know, demand more for their vote, you know, which is which is something that's been needed. You know, we need to use it as leverage instead of just keep giving it away year after year, election after election. You know, so hopefully uh, we, we learn how to use the power of our vote, you know, to actually elect leaders that's going to help us. Years ago, 50, 60, 70 years ago, when racism was, quote, at its highest, most of our people were conservative. They were Republican. They were, you know, more towards the right. And it, it, it's interesting because we are more of a conservative group, if you think about it, in our personal lives. But when we go to the booth, for whatever reason, we vote Democrat. Yeah, man. That, that, uh, that man, these, we're, we're here to save you. And if you... Don't vote for us. These people are going to set y'all back a hundred years. It's, it's a powerful message. Um, and that's why you see them race baiting all over the media all the time, especially people like uh, um, Al Sharpton, you know, Biden, Obama, um, yeah. the mainstream media. They, 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 they use race you know, to uh, continue to, um, you know, divide people. It's so it's so blatant now. Like, blatant. most of the stories that you see on the news, like, 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 I always use this. People don't like that I say this, but I always use this. Like, outside of the mainstream media telling us that this incident with George Floyd and George, uh, uh, whatever his name is, or the police officer, Shelvin, um, the media the one that told us that was about race. How we know that was about race? Mm. 
He didn't, he didn't, he didn't call George Floyd no N words or say, I want to. They just made this whole story about race. Same thing with Breonna Taylor. They make these stories about race. Ain't nobody yell fuck niggers or did start shooting or did this. It's just because this person was black and this person was white, we're going to blow this. We're going to put this all over the t- TV and, and make this about race. And notice they did that at a time where we had one of the biggest situations in the world in 2020. And we can't say the word, but it starts with the C and rhymes with Verona. You know, it's just funny how they threw that <laughs> right in. You know what I'm saying? We we, we got to be careful how we tiptoe around yeah. this with YouTube. But it's funny how they threw all that in there. You know what I'm saying? During this biggest time in the whole world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but that's what they use that race baited for, though. To keep you in fear and believe, hey, look, I'm the one here to help you. And if you start fucking with these people, they're going to send y'all back to the slavery or something. That's basically the message that they be trying to, like, I'll be watching some of this stuff, like, they really acting like this dude, Donald Trump, is about to get back in office and become a permanent dictator and just start For some real. white supremacy type stuff going on. Like, come on, man. <laughs> that is not what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm laughing, but this shit is crazy. I'll be like, man. And they, and, and for me, it's, it's astonishing because I used to be one of them people that, and they put something on TV um, involving black people, you know, before I even sit back and really look at this. You have 60 seconds remaining. I'm all in already. This is racist. It's like, man, I don't know. He probably took part of the person in the street. He probably didn't even just like this dude. But just because he's black and he's white, we don't say this got to be racist. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I do it enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come on son, here you give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you Life is a west straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you so what's love got to do when you win it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me, and but she starts get told. And I smile with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond. Waking up in the cell, this ain't it. Life is a living hell, this ain't it. Food tastes like trash, this ain't it. Lord, please forgive my past. This ain't it. What you doing in the street? Is it worth it? Death the prison, only two things, that's for certain. 